Ladies and gents, one of the items that I listed the other day, recently, just sold. Look what just sold, folks. Remember the Cody James vest that I showed you just recently? This is the size XL, has that paisley pattern on the front. I got an offer for it for $21, for, for $21 and I accepted it. It was a no-brainer. I didn't pay very much for this at all, so it was pretty big profits. The going price for these James Cody James vest are around fifteen to twenty ish dollars. So mine did pretty good for a dollar more than what other people are selling theirs for, especially the exact same style. But other patterns and colors do sell for around the same numbers that I just told you about. Super easy to pack and ship. I'm gonna get some more stuff listed today, and I'm also gonna start looking at prepping for my next auction on knickknacks. I just gotta get a video out first, and I'm gonna work on another video today, editing it. Those little strands at the end always like just stick to you with static. Sometimes that gets annoying when you got a lot of packages going on, which I shouldn't complain about because a lot of packages means I'm doing really good picking out the right items. Making sure I pick quality items, profitable items that sell in a reasonable amount of time, faster the better, using sewed cops to see if it's worth getting. I think I got this at the rummage sale again, and then Robin just messaged in the last video uh, saying thank you about going out there. They ended up raising just over $10,000 towards the cause of what they were trying to do of getting equipment. If I overheard correctly, which it's funny because I hear other people saying stuff, but when my wife tells me something, <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember you saying that. <laughs> uh, it must be a man's DNA. But um, they are, I believe, halfway to what they're going for of around $20,000 for one of the pieces of items that they're trying to get for the fire department out in Tacoma, California. So best of wishes to them. Please reach out to me if there's any more events. We do plan on going out to Pahrump to go thrifting. Here there's some really good thrifting, although some people have messaged me saying that there isn't. But I got other people telling me that there is. So best way to know yourself is to go through your own experience and give your own decision if it's good or not. Because we all look for different things, similar things sometimes, but we all look for different stuff and intrigued by things that we come across. Even if we don't get it, it could still be a lot of fun. Plus, I've never really been out there other than the rummage, so I've never been out that way of Nevada into California. I didn't even know California was out that way. I always thought it was out that way because that's always the route I went towards Prim up to California and L.A. So a lot of places I haven't experienced myself, and I'm all about experiencing life because if you don't, you're missing out, especially small places little places, little getaways that isn't too far you could come back in a day. Day trips can be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Gotta get my chonies washed and some clothes. So let's get some laundry done, folks. Don't worry, it wasn't my underwear. It was just a t-shirt. <laughs> Alrighty then this over one thing about my mother-in-law my wife this little knob up here they always have it tight and it's supposed to have it let it breathe so it, so it runs smoothly it's about time they're not tightening it back up detergent softener check normal and that's so yeah today i am wearing sweatpants but when oh, Carla said she wanted to go work out, one thing about gray folks, especially sweatpants, is that when it gets a little sweaty in certain spots, you can clearly see those spots. Some people don't care about that, but I am very self-conscious about things to where I don't want people seeing sweat and spots off of me. <laughs> so, so I tend to wear darker clothes and actually gonna switch into some shorts. About time, boy, about time. 
No, I'm not gonna throw it. I know you gotta go outside. If if he's if he doesn't have that little bat, he usually has um the little chicken nugget, which I haven't seen lately. Oh, and there are some quail, folks. You want to see some quails? Oh, oh. You could you could hear them calling to each other. Let's see if we get a little close. I could hear them, but I don't see them. I seen them a moment ago, but they must have went into the tumbleweeds. Oh, no, that's a, that is, it's hard to see it, but that is a California ground squirrel, I believe. Hey, little buddy. It's a lot bigger than the other ones I see. There it is. Oh, we just missed it. There's a, there's a far one over there, but there's one. I used to feed them when I when I had bird feed, and then Carla said, "Stop buying bird feed," because <laughs> we had uh, hundreds of score, uh, hundreds of quails out of here, waiting for us. There it is. It came out. Yeah, it's a little chilly, isn't it? I just got a payout today from knickknacks of 200 and something doll hairs. So I think I am going to go buy some bird feed later on today at Lowe's. It's not very expensive either. It's pretty cheap, pretty affordable compared to dog food. And I do like seeing all the birds and stuff out there. The, the rabbits will come out. We will get quails, hundreds of them. I swear you not, hundreds of quails come out. Rabbits from jackrabbits to cottontails. The California squirrels never really come out that way. I thought they were chipmunks for the longest time and I looked them up and I was like, what, they're not chipmunks? Tip, I just got a message for you. Got a text message. I had to press one to confirm your grooming appointment tomorrow. You excited about that? You excited to go see Misha? We always take them to Piggy Tails. I love that place. They're really nice, welcoming. And Tip seems to love it, especially when you drive in there. <laughs> right, boy? Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Yeah, your daddy always pays for your grooming. I always get your grooming done. So you look different tomorrow. People see that tomorrow. You hungry? <laughs> you hungry? I think he's hungry. All right, I'm going to feed you. I'm going to feed you. Let me get your dry food over here and a little bit of wet food. Which is right over here. We got him this vegan dog food. You gotta go back outside? This dog. Do y'all get a dog that does this? He'll go outside, come back inside and be like, Dad, 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 but I gotta really go this time. I really gotta go this time. Walking through the house, I gotta, I gotta do the floors. I gotta sweep and mop, which it's not even mopping anymore. I used to do that back in the day. I even come along so far that when I used to wash clothes as a kid, I actually had one of the washboards. I used to do that as a kid and then wring the clothes by hand until somewhere along the way, my mom ended up acquiring a uh, washing machine wringer to where you would feed your apparel or towels and blankets up into the system that's almost like a pasta machine that thins it out, but it would wring the clothes. So man, <laughs> wow, those were the days. Those were the days, folks. Hard times, but good times. So yeah, so I'm not going to be mopping the floor. I'm going to be using a machine car that bought. I think it's like a Swiffer, one that spins, two of them. Together, opposite directions. I like that. It's really easy. I had to come outside because I started seeing more movement throughout here. And it looks like there's two little rabbits. And it also had me curious about something I said earlier. I thought it was a California ground squirrel, but the tail didn't look the same in my head. So, oh, oh, look, two little rabbits, folks, two little rabbits. They've been, they've been following each other so close. One of them kept circling the other ones. So I'm not sure, maybe, maybe they're mating or about to mate. And then we also have a quail up in here. There we go. That's the one that looks out for everybody. There's usually the quail that keeps an eye out for the ones down below. That's pretty cool how they work together. So the the one we just seen a moment ago is actually a white-tailed antelope squirrel. 
how the hell a squirrel and an antelope mated? I don't judge, folks. Let people love the love and animals. <laughs> I feel bad for the squirrel. And an antelope? Ouch. I've always liked these slippers right here. Cute, cute little slippers. <laughs> Tip, you want some slippers? He want? wants this. He wants your banana. <laughs> Sorry, Tip. You already ate, boy. Where's the cost of Looks like Curtis defrosting some tuna steaks. Some ahi. Which I need to... I need to get my tuna together. This stuff. Oh, we're going to Costco, folks. We are going to Costco. I thought I had a bag. There we go. Boss Reseller Remix. I'm not going to be going on this year. All right, so. Go drop this off. Oh. All right, Tip. We'll see you later, boy. Packages are done, check. Not for the gym, then Costco. Clean the floors later on. You know, it's kind of weird being excited about wanting to clean your floors, especially when you walk barefooted. All right, nice little hour workout here at EOS. I remember when I said EOS one day and I got corrected. The girl's like, it's EOS. It's a sex Greek goddess. I was like, oh, okay. You could have corrected me without the sassy voice. But I got corrected and I learned from it. It's Eos, sex goddess. It's a cool name. From what it looks like, Carla had a really good workout, really good sweat on her. And I'm pushing towards that of getting better exercises in. Exercises in but my knees are really sore right now. It must have happened, I must have just did a little too much the last time I came to work out. So I, I feel it in my knees and it feels really achy and not, not to where I wasn't trying to do cardio. I still did a little bit, I did some walking, but I knew if I was gonna run, it was only gonna just instigate more pain. And I don't wanna do that. I'm not trying to push myself so hard that I get a good workout, but then I'm out for like a week, maybe even longer. And so far, my sciatica has been very good. I haven't had any issues other than the normal pain, which is not normal for some people. I consistently live in pain. And when I go to doctors to the VA, which I need to make more appointments about, they always ask me on the scale of one to 10, how bad does it hurt? My sevens is a one because it's been like this for years. Do two already? It's on sale. I remember always complaining about Carla buying like a crap load of toilet paper, towels, wipes, things like that. And then when the whole world shut down because of the, <coughs> achoo, bless you, that, I never complained again. <laughs> I told her about it. She said, aren't you happy I got all that stuff? We weren't worried about any of that. Thanks to this little shorty right here. We need batteries? Yeah, we always need batteries. Should I do one of each or just Um, yeah, one of each. Because I think we have like maybe eight more of the AAA. I'm gonna do my best not to run over Carla. A lot of times I end up getting distracted looking around left and right all over, up and down. Seriously, sometimes up and down. And then all of a sudden, bang. <laughs> oops, sorry, babe. And she gets mad at me. Ooh, what is this? I have one already, but this one, you can change it. 
to Ooh. Those are always cool. But I already have a small one. Oh, you can't buy it with just that? <laughs> How about we just put that in our tarantarans? Nobody would ever know. We'll be getting fish later, but we got to go over there to produce as we could squirm through all the foot traffic. Grab a boxer. Yeah, this one looks sturdy. <laughs> the other day I, I called a, a pear a peach and I got corrected. <laughs> I was kept thinking the whole time, like, that doesn't sound right, but I figured it out later. I didn't know what it was until I was told I was wrong. I say French beans, apricot fruits. Hmm. Taking both or one? Organic squash. That would get it. Yeah, let's do that one. This one looks fat. Yeah, looks fatter, thicker. I think we still have the thin slice. Oh, beef beef is going up in price craziness I don't I don't think we do I think I pulled out the one we had like this the wild ones less preservatives than the wild ones <laughs> Carlos trying to move over but the lady doesn't move I don't eat crab too often, but I'll eat a little bit. Is it fat inside? Is it fat inside? How do you tell? Well, crab the pig. Why are you picking this one out of the other ones? Because it's not, it's, it's not wet really inside. It's not moist inside. We have chicken still, huh? I don't know, we had chicken wings, but I think we got chicken breast. Yeah, we should look first. Always come back later. Rotisserie? All right, I'm gonna go grab the cart. Trying to make our way to the rotisserie, but we're gonna go pick up some sausage here. If only they had redondos, we would be probably piling up on this mild purity. Four of them on here. Ronaldo's? Oh, no, that's different. Uh, I was like, is that redondos? It says Ronaldo's. Oh, uh, that almost, that almost had me going there. Tonkatsu miso ramen. Damn, that photo looks good. It has char siu in it? Yeah. Oh, shashu. Oh. And you could microwave it. Can I try it? Let's try it. If it's on sale, it means those prices up and marked down to get us. Sales are all the scam. I know, if your mom was here, we wouldn't need to be looking at this right now. Oh, she's doing well out in the Philippines. What is it? Can I have a pound? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not allowed to do this. <laughs> oh, let me try this. Hmm. Excuse me. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Need a, I need like 20 more of those though. Mm. 
I'm pretty sure we need some heavy cream, but you always want to look at the dates on here. March 29th, March 29th, March 29th. What about this one back here? March 29th. What, this one? It spoils too fast? Alrighty then. This one's going to be April 7th. Yeah, that's actually longer than the other one. And repeat. Yep, March. Let's get this one. Where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. You're gonna grab some webbles? Oh man, that one's cracked too. What? Should we just come back? Cracked. It's not It's cracked on the corner over there. Yeah, we got a little bit. You want me to grab some TP? Some small one. Small TP? All right. All right, paper towel. I always like to get the top one. Makes it easier for other people. A little shorter than me. Then to get the bottom one. And these are, this toilet paper is different than before. I don't think that's the one Carla wants. I'm gonna have to ask her. I don't want to get it and, and then she scold me. Oh, I think it's over here. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah. This one. Let's get this one since it looks unsafe. Whoa. All right, this is this is a new one for me. I was actually gonna grab regular Doritos. Here they have raisin, buffalo, and ranch. Should I try something new or stick to my favorites? I think. It looks good, but yeah. I, gotta, yeah. uh, I gotta stick with the regular one. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> There's some things you just can't change. Keeping it classy. Packed up everything, all the groceries. That went pretty smooth. I didn't run over Carla at Costco. When we got back, she ended up making some ahi, which is some really good fish. And then she used a little bit of garlic and some butter, a little bit of seasoning, probably like garlic salt, who knows what else, whatever it was. It was sarap, it was really delicious. Oh no. And then now I'm getting ready and prepping for my next glass sale auction on knickknacks. I haven't decided on what day I want to do it, but I'm thinking Friday. No, I can't do Friday. Because if I do it Friday, I got to get up early on Saturday. We're going to be selling at the flea market this weekend. Carrie, the Desert Mermaid, really good friend of mine. And of course, I'm going to be there. And then we will do a little bit of shopping. So I'm going to share you some of that with me too on a daily vlog. So that's going to be fun. Just taking you around out of what I do. Um, and it changes every day, which is what I like about it. And I like sharing it with you. So make sure to like and subscribe. So thanks for watching, folks. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm Sunny Las Vegas. I appreciate you all for your time. Stay tuned for next time where there's more of me every day.